Another Nintendo title is out in the world. It birthed itself to a beautiful reception, but other companies need a little shine as well. They're ready to have a baby or two of their own. We've got seven new Switch games for you. They don't stop coming, never stop coming, and here they are. Six are brand new announcements. One is a release date update, but of a game that I'm really, really excited to play. Gabe, this isn't just an ordinary, like, <laughs> freaking... <laughs> Mr. Bob's Bizarre Circus gets a, a release date update. This is an important game, and we're gonna tell you about them uh, in sing-song fashion. I, I, well, no, not no to that yes. last part. But yes. did you just come up with Mr. Bob's Biz uh, Bizarre Circus like just on your own, like just now? It, it was like a hybrid between this like show on Netflix about like a store, also combined with JoJo's Circus or whatever that yeah. TV. Here, here, here so quickly. All right, I used to go to the Swap Meet when I was when I was like very young, and at the very back of it, they had like. This like room where they like had like bearded ladies and like crocodiles. It was like what? a circus in a swamp. It was like so scary. I was like, what? what? Oh my Maybe gosh, this is why I'm now immune to fear because I yeah, got scared yeah. when I was a kid. And that was right in your town? A couple towns over. Yeah, but it's like a okay. 15, 20 minute drive. Man, I would think that'd be something like the 70s, but not in like the aughts. Yeah, no, no, it was like the late 80s, I think. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Well, all of these games uh, aren't that scary. And it begins with a really good one. So let us know in the comments down below which of these games you are most excited for. If you'll be picking any of them up and if you went to any bizarre backroom circuses at your swap meets when you were little. We'll kick things off, game with a game that I'm glad is getting a Switch release. It's a pretty big deal in the indie community. And that is What Remains of Edith Finch. This was just confirmed. It is coming worldwide, uh, like Pitbull, but way better. And it's 1999. <laughs> On July 4th, celebrate uh, Independence Day with a little bit of familial mystery yeah. and maybe some some very important themes about death, life, uh, and the meaning of all of that. Yeah. Okay, this is a weird game. It's a BAFTA award-winning game, Zach. It got a lot of love, and I think rightfully so. I think it is very neat. Some of the the gameplay changes that happen in this game are just, like, insane. Yeah, it's like you're a all lot of different variety there. Yeah, uh, but one thing I will warn people about is that this was released back when The Walking Simulator was, like, kind of, like, the hot new thing. That so, was my favorite show. I, I wasn't allowed to watch The Walking Dead, so I watched The Walking Simulator. It was a lot nicer. <laughs> um, but regardless, there isn't, like, a ton of, like, difficulty. You're just going to honestly experience a cool story a Damn. very surreal story with all types of insane happenings it almost like reminds me uh you know you know what this game reminded me of what my mind was like like at the age of 10 it was just like all over oh. the place uh, at some point i'm a frog at some point i'm just like this giant snake uh, yeah who knows this is from giant sparrow who did the unfinished swan and i feel like this is a far more um polished experience and and you're right the changes and the imagination that is imbued in this project really awesome uh 20 bucks i think it's still totally worth it you'll get a couple of great hours out of it uh it's beloved over on steam and other platforms and it's nice that you can play it on the go yeah let's go to our release date update which is a game i've been waiting for on switch honestly gabe it's called forager um it's coming july 30th finally this is the work of hop frog and humble bundle um it is basically like 2D open world Minecraft meets Zelda is kind of like what I like to think of it as. Um, it's got very positive reviews on Steam. It's pushed over 300,000 copies there. And there's like dungeons, obviously crafting and blueprints, puzzles to solve, secrets to uncover, managing resources, and a cute little doughboy character. Yeah, it has touchscreen controls. You can collect all those resources by just tapping on the screen of your Switch. I've actually played I love for watching him do it in the trailer. Yeah, yeah, it's so cute. Uh, I've actually played Forger. It is a fun game. It does have like Zelda-like elements or some cool boss fights, some dungeons, stuff like that. A very mm -hmm. cutesy RC style. I know people are kind of like tired of like pixel stuff. I get it. Right. But you know, every once in a while, one comes along like this, and this one's been out. But the fact that it's just now coming to Switch, it's gonna be really, really cool. There, there's like mirror puzzles, like the one we did in that escape room that one time, Zach. You remember? Yeah, that was nice. It's $16.99 on Steam. Um, I'm expecting to see probably a, uh, a $20 price point on Switch. I feel like that is where it'll be, but who knows? We've, we've seen yeah. some interesting things as of late. Like, Skulls the Shogun is available for 50% off if you pre-order, which is a phenomenal game. And you have a $10 you pre-order on Switch, which is weird. Yeah. All right, speaking of weird. What's it like when you go to make a new Switch Games video and your channel name is a part of a game that is being revealed. The Mighty Switch Force Collection is coming to Switch. Now these games have been around for a while. We've known about them. Yes, they were on 3DS and whatnot um, and DS. And 
they, they had no part in inspiring Switch Force in any way, shape, or form. I don't think that Jake, when he created the name, was thinking about that in any capacity. But it is interesting that there is a game with our name in it. And this will compile Mighty Switch Force, Mighty Switch Force Hyperdrive Edition, Mighty Switch Force 2, and Mighty Switch Force Academy on July 25th for $19.99. If, if they weren't around years and years and years before us, I would sue them. Luckily, they've been... <laughs> Luckily, we don't have to deal with that. Uh, it's, a, it's a way forward game. They do good stuff uh, way forward. So eh. I, I've never played any of these games. So they actually run 3DS and Wii U. That's that's my mistake. I thought that there was one uh, preceding the 3DS, but I guess not. 3DS um, and, and Wii U. Uh, and they're made by WayForward, who do very good work. They do very nice art. Um, there is now HD Rumble added to this version. Uh, four fantastic games, obviously, and four players can join locally in Mighty Switch Force Academy. Oh. So, uh, so yeah, right. we'll have to pick those up and see. No, what I really want to see is, when, you know, there's Mighty Switch Force Two. When do we get Switch Force Two? <laughs> That's what it may, it may be closer than you think. Um, we'll have to <laughs> we'll have to wait and see for that. Oh, though. But I, I'm picking this up just because. It's got we, our we, name we gotta it, support. Man. It's like me, well, like when I see a, a game made by uh, made by a guy named Gabe, I kind of gotta give it a try just to see what the other games are out here doing. So I gotta see what the other yeah. Switch Force well, is. And, and look how well that worked for you with Ape with Out. Ape Out. Yeah. Right. That was that was incredible. That worked so well for you. So, um, I yeah. You, right, it'll be cool. Speaking of cool, <laughs> get it real cold. <laughs> Ice Age is making a comeback. All good things must come back. That's what. <laughs> this decade has taught me um and so oh, we're God. getting ice age scrats nutty adventure coming to switch this fall this is a 3d platformer um there's some very pretty screenshots that look almost prettier than the first ice age because that was one of the like og cg movies and let me tell you i'm usually the culprit of falling asleep in movies ice age is the only movie i've gone to uh, where my entire family fell asleep except me you, you really wanted to. You really wanted to know if he was gonna get that nut. Will he get that nut? <laughs> I don't think he ever gets the nut. Maybe at the end of this game you get the nut. If not, I don't want to play. Wait, wait, hold on. Isn't there like five movies? He never, ever, ever gets a nut. That's the whole deal. He, he oh. always comes close. I don't think. I don't think he's ever gotten. I don't think it's ever. Guys, let us know it, if he got the nut, please, in the comments. Explore <laughs> action-packed locations, discover treasures that unlock special powers, and help Scrat to jump higher, grab heavier objects, and find every last tre treasure in this all-new nutty adventure. You know what's amazing about this? It is a licensed game. We don't see like too many of no. these like anymore, really. Huh? It, it, no, there, especially I don't think not there's, for... a, there's no movie tie-in, is there? No, I mean, it, it is a bit odd that they're like going back to like what feels like a decade or two decade old movie franchise here. Um, oh gosh, when did the first Ice Age release? Okay, while you look that up, I'll just talk about how cool these like screenshots look. If this were any other game other than Ice Age, I would I would maybe want to give it a try. But since I do know that it's probably just like a 3D collectathon. I, I'm not into that. Ice Age initially released March 12, 2002. So it's been almost 18 years, almost two decades wow. of Ice Age. So you can relive that glory uh, when Scrat's Nutty Adventure, it's a gross title, releases uh, sometime this fall. But Gabe, you know what you should do in life, even if you can't get your nut? Okay, what? You should never give up. Oh. Eh. And that's an important value uh, it's also an important game it's coming to switch on august the 13th uh, it is a very challenging death defying platformer as they call it uh, it's based on the web game series give up now never give up is coming to uh, switch pc and mac and it's by armor game studios who did get up or give up uh get up that sounds like a it's, it's like a it's like a sp Disco? spin off to Spinoff to uh, Nick Cannon's. Uh, wow, what are those out? movies called? Oh. No, 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 no. The one, the one where like, the dance movies. Step up. Step. Step, step up, up to the streets. Step up. That's yeah. what I. <laughs> step up to the streets. All right, so you got this brutally hardcore platformer <laughs> made by uh, Armor Games and then Massive Monster, who released the Adventure Pals last year. 150 stages full of buzzsaws, guided missiles, giant rhino mechs, huge boss battles, and other not-so-friendly gizmos. Uh, if Mario Maker hasn't been enough punishment for you, Gabe, you could get in on this in a couple months. I will say, this looks kind of cool, but I'm already playing Mario Maker, so I don't, I don't know if I would want to give this a chance especially since they know you just said that these come from like web-based games this is like mm -hmm. incredibly like precision platforming that we're seeing in the trailer which again looks cool just mario maker has my heart right now 
It'll be cheap, though. Cheaper, at the very least. Cheap, um, yes, it will be cheaper than Mario Maker, yes. It will be cheaper than Mario Maker, <laughs> and there's plenty more blood, so if that is your type of thing, that. grab it. Gosh, Gabe, the transitions write themselves. Like, if you ever thought we had a writer behind the scenes or planned any of this, we absolutely don't, but it's like there is, like, some omniscient god watching over our new game series that just make this happen so perfectly with such expert flow, like a beautiful fountain on a spring sad day. Get a lot of blood uh, in Alder's blood, coming to Switch later this year. This one's interesting. It's like XCOM meets vampires, but also kind of got like that hard West thing going on, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and also then has like a weird like castlevania e art thing. It, it, it's pretty darn cool. It's got stealth-based combat. Uh, you're trying to ambush your opponents, but then it's very like like XCOM base where characters have stamina and abilities and they have unique attacks and skills and you have to make sure that you're prepping and preparing uh, as best you can. It actually looks pretty cool. Yeah, games like XCOM and Hard West, these strategy uh, RPGs with like this type of combat, I always like honestly have so much of my attention and I, I don't get a chance to play them very often. I did like Hard West on Switch. I, th I thought that was uh, quite good. So maybe I'll give this one a chance. The art style is just very striking. Like, it, you know what else it looks a lot like? Mm, I don't know. Banner Saga. Yes, that's another one. Uh, another one of those games that kind of fits the mold that we're talking about here. Yeah. Uh, do we have a price for this? I don't think we do. No, it's coming Q3 or Q4, um, and it's also probably what you did at the swap meet. Stay quiet, stay hidden, so you don't get spotted by that creepy Weirded circus. Thing. Yeah, yeah, stay away. That's the tagline there. Um, I'm looking forward to this one. It seems pretty darn cool, uh, and they say it will be a nice, uh, somber alternative to the Happy Games releasing, <laughs> like Link's Awakening and Pokemon Sword and Shit. Who needs happiness? Not, not I. Yeah. Not you, Gabe. Well, maybe you need some fantasy, though, because you can have a sad fantasy. You can make your own fantasy in Fantasy Strike coming to Nintendo Switch. They claim it is a fighter with lots of depth. Uh, it'll be releasing on July 25th for $30. But before you dismiss this title, generic name, generic look, high price point. It is made by the lead designer of Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix, one of the greatest titles in gaming history and a pretty solid game. Yeah, uh, as far as fighters go, it stood the test of time. Hopefully this one does too. I don't know how I feel about the art style of this one, but as long as it's mechanically sound, I don't really care what it looks like. You can play as a giant, like old version of Kung Fu Panda, apparently. <laughs> and it, it does, it, it looks like kind of, it, you can definitely tell like this dude worked on HD Remix. Like, yeah. A I, bit of that in it. I think it's cool. I wish it were a little cheaper. I mean, thirty dollars is a yeah. lot. I, I don't know what it's gonna have, other than just like, hey, like play with your friends or play online. It, I, I doubt this has a story or anything like that, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it, it looks neat. You know how much I like fighting games. I will give it a try if it's like an Evo because I watch Evo every year. That's one of the right. few esports related. I don't even know if that's technically esports, but yeah, I guess. It's one of the very few like spectator video game things I do. We were talking about that recently, you and I, just like how we don't yeah. like spectate video games. Evo is the one you that I've that. I've been watching it yeah. for, for a, over a decade at this point. So if this, this title has arcade mode, boss rush mode, ranked mode, three on three battles, tournaments, survival modes, daily challenge modes, local and online versus. It has GGBO tech, so it should be very seamless and smooth. Um, David Serlin, who is the lead. Uh, designer from Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo HD Remix said that online play is so important he wanted to make sure that it was very very seamless and smooth and you can play this game with someone uh, across the globe and it should be res responsive um, no lag and that they wanted to also make the UI very easy so with a single click you can challenge a friend or watch a friend's match which is interesting so talking about spectating you can have your own little Evo game within uh, within the game and they say that it's going to include innovations never seen in any other fighting games um, like, so it uh, says a, a don't fight mode, a mode where you just stand there and look at each other. Passive handshake. Yeah, yeah we're out of here. Yeah. It says a visual display of frame advantage. These graphical mm -hmm. effects communicate which player will recover first after every hit and in how much time. Fantasy Strike goes the extra mile to get everyone thinking strategically by including inside the game itself in-depth tutorial videos for all ten characters narrated by the game director David Serlin. Hmm. There you go. All right, so it is pricey, but if it comes out polished, it could be a fun one to add to your collection. Which of these games, Gabe, are you adding? Okay, Forager and uh, What Remains of Edith Finch, I think, are both top-notch yeah. quality games. Unfortunately, I've played them both, <laughs> you know, wh wh which is a little hard. But right. I also think that 
you know, Switch Force that deserves it. But uh, you know what? I'm going to go with Elder's Blood. I just mentioned every game. But Elder's Blood is the one pick. Thanks, Gabe, for That's choosing the one pick. everything. That's the one pick. Elder's Blood. I'm going to go with Forager. I've seen great things about it. I've been super excited to play it. I have held off specifically because of this Switch version, and I'm glad that it's coming this month, uh, or next month, I guess, the end of next month, within the month, which is nice. Um, <laughs> and I plan on, on picking up a little cute Marshmallow Man and seeing what kind of dastardly creations I can craft. Let us know which game you are picking up in the comments down below. Any of them, all of them, none of them. If you haven't played Edith Finch, that's a really good one and, and a really great summer game. July 4th is a perfect time. If everyone is too busy doing sparklers, needing hot dogs, and you just want to chill, that's twenty dollars well spent, I think. Um, don't so get don't, after. Hey, don't buy fireworks. Buy what remains. Don't burn money. At least have a yeah, cool experience. Go. And possibly burn other people. Yeah, just just stay safe and uh, go play what remains of Edith Finch. Also, have a good safe time on that Fourth of July. Um, we'll talk to you next around that time. If you're busy, have fun. If you're not, we'll see you then. Until that time, though, for myself and Gabe and all these games. Thanks again for watching that like button if you enjoyed the video. Switch Force out. <laughs>